Prototyping in Figma is easy, right? Let's see what we can do to make it better. You probably prototyping the sidebars like this, right? Me too. But let's utilize the open overlay feature to make a proper slide-ins. Let's adjust the overlay position. We need to enable this option so that the overlay would close when you touch outside of it. Let's use the custom graph to make the animation more realistic. This setup we have here will make the overlay start slow and at the middle it will be the fastest and it's going to be slowed down at the end. I have another example for the overlay but this time it will open from the bottom and goes back to the bottom as well. I can imagine you can figure out the setting for this. Create two cards and place them right outside of the screen. Make sure you don't delete any of this. This will come handy later. I'm using Unsplash plugin for filling out the cards with the random images. Duplicate the artboard. drag all three cards and place the middle one at the center. Go to the prototype tab and start with the left artboard. Select on dragged from the first option and select smart animate under the animation section. Do the same from the other card so you can go back to the initial state with dragging. Smart Animate works all the different gestures you can imagine. Try scaling for size. Let's use Smart Animate for another instance. Duplicate the artboard, 
and make the circle part of the button bigger so it can cover up the full screen. Now connect the prototype and select smart animate and play. We can adjust the graph like before to make the animation more interesting. Let's increase the animation duration a bit. That's good, but we can do better. Uh, let's try something else. Yeah, that's more like it. After delay probably the favorite product feature in Figma right after a smart animate. Add a loading state in between. This is a GIF I made for the loading state. As you know, Figma can run GIFs inside products. Remove the old screen and remake it so there's no issue with the smart animate. For the first step, we don't need the smart limit, just a simple dissolve effect would work. For the second screen, select the artboard and connect it to the next screen and then select after delay from the bottom of the list. We can control for how long we want to keep the page to stay before it moves to the next page automatically. We need to smart animate for this interaction like previous example. The goal is to change the size of each item and push other when you hover. Let's do this. Select while hovering instead of the click and select smart animate from the animation section. Let's adjust the graph like before. And we are going to also use the same logic for all the objects we have. The best part of the prototype in Figma is, it remembers the last setting so you don't have to configure each parameter every time.
Time for homework! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next one.